Today we're looking at the Butio Bivy Hide, which is a low profile or lie down hide. Now, I already own one. It's one I made myself, or at least I, I bought from a garden centre, the framework. It's designed for growing plants under. It's just the right size for a lie down hide. And it came with a plastic sheet. Well, I threw the plastic sheet away and made an army camouflage cover for it. And that served me well for a number of years, but it's painfully slow to put up. 15, 20 minutes to get it ready and maybe 10 minutes to disassemble it as well. The great advantage of the Butio Bivy Hide is it goes up in seconds and comes down again. The front of the hide unzips to allow very good access to where you're going to put your camera gear so you can sort that out before you climb in at the back and crawl forwards. I usually have the one tripod leg sticking out the front Give me a bit more space. And then the, the camera sticking through, a little bit of scrimming on the side. There are two peep holes on each side. And a very similar door at the rear, which is where you go in. It's also got a bit of inset netting here does have a built-in ground sheet, but nevertheless you need some sort of bed roll as well to give yourself a little bit more comfort. And it's very important that you do the backup when you're in the hide. So there's no light coming through to sort of silhouette you. Notice I've put the hide up against the vegetation. If you put the hide up totally in the open the birds are likely to be more nervous of it than if it's up against something and then you line the hide up with a, an attractive bit of water where the birds are likely to walk along the edge there's an extra window on each side just in case you need to see what's going on this is the package that it comes in it's got a couple of straps on the back so you can wear it as a rucksack Unfortunately, I find whenever I'm carrying a hide, I'm also carrying a camera bag, which is on my back. But nevertheless, it's very useful to have the two straps. And basically, there are three hoops. And I say, if you don't read the instructions, the first time you take it out, you think, what on earth do I do with it? And you undo those hoops. There's a joint in the middle of them here. It's best to sort of straighten out the, uh, the hoop by pushing down on it and then pulling it apart. All three of them. And then you just need four tent pegs. And each peg goes in each corner of the hide. And that's it, it's up. Couldn't really be much quicker than that. And now I'll just show you how to fold it. The first step to folding it is to close all of the doors and windows. And then simply pull out the four tent pegs in the four corners. And then you've got the three hoops that hold it up. You now just got to put those hoops back together. And 
and that's it ready to go back in the bag now if you're concerned that the hide looks a little bit on the large size especially if you were traveling abroad you'd have trouble getting that in your suitcase it does come with an extra set of poles and just like tent poles they're in sections and you can replace the hoops that come with it uh, or are fitted to it with these on a temporary basis it makes it a little bit longer to put up every time but it does fold down to a much smaller package I'll take the hoops out and, and show you and there we have it brushes down much smaller than that there is a small extra bag inside the main bag that that will go inside that's the hoop the continuous hoop you're now going to replace it with the one that comes in sections that makes it a far more compact package and very well thought out so I'll just show you a handful of pictures taken from lie down positions this is a curlew sandpiper and a dunlin not everybody likes the low angle pictures but the vast majority of photographers do little stint the hide weighs in at 1.8 kilos northern lapwing actually taken at the same location as I was just filming the hide and northern pochard it's surprising how often you can get these sort of pictures without using a hide simply lying on the floor covering yourself with scrimming can be very effective have a set red shank being inside a hide just allows you a bit more comfort because you can turn over and take a rest from time to time without disturbing the birds spoonbills thanks for watching